in Delhi. It doesn't feel quite as hot. I'm sure it, it does on the court. My first question is, how has Anastasia Rodionova recovered from her singles last night where she was struggling from uh, heat exhaustion or some sort of heat stroke? And it was, uh, it, she was quite dramatic in her semi-final win against uh, Sally Pierce. I think she could be up for uh, an Oscar nomination <laughs> next year. But uh, she gutsed it through. But both had very different semi-finals. Mirza had to have a miraculous uh, recovery from a set and 3-1 down and came through uh, when she looked completely out of it. And uh, Anastasia Rodanova was a set and three love up and uh, squandered a lead but uh, ended up winning through, through in a very one-sided third set. It's hard to believe that they're pals sometimes, or that they're partners. Here is our umpire, Lucy Grant, from Great Britain, has an important role to play. No, she does. I wonder if she'll take a leaf out of uh, another English umpire's uh, book, Alison Lang, who, when she was doing uh, the Indian pay, met Pays and Bhupati against Hanley and Luchak uh, yesterday, she really clamped down early on. It was sort of like giving an early yellow card for a, a, not maybe a, a really bad foul, but a, a marginal foul. So. This is the route that Mirza has taken to this final. She uh, overcame Brittany Tate from the Cook Islands, rather routinely, 6 left, 6 2. The Maria Irakovic from New Zealand, who presented a, a slightly sterner task, not much, 6 2, 6 3. And Olivia Rogowski from Australia has beaten in three sets. And it's a good comeback for me, is it? As I said, set and three went out. She was awful. Really was awful for a set and a half until she found her range. Oh, Sanya Mirza, very much the local hero at 23 years of age. Born in Mumbai, but has lived most of her life in Hyderabad. And what about Anastasia, the number one seed here? She certainly had a, an easy start against Larika Russell from the Bahamas, 6 love, 6-1, 6-3. And then Heather Watson from Guernsey. She was taken 6 love 6 2. And then that match that we were talking about, Sally Pierce, 6 3, 6 7, 6 1. What you have to say, Sam, is that they got the seedings absolutely right. We have number one against number two in the final. Well, I'm not sure they're too worried about the seedings. I think it was all about this woman making it through to the final. She's had quite a difficult uh, few seasons since she was a top 30 player, up to number 27 in the world uh, in 2007. Had a whole host of injuries to deal with. She's had a wrist injury this year that uh, took her out of uh, competitive play from February till June. So very much coming back at the moment uh, is Senya Mirza and she's had quite a few uh, things to deal with off the court. She's a, a superstar, she's like a Bollywood superstar from India, in India. Sanya Mirza. He's married to Pakistan uh, cricketer Shoei Malik earlier this year. Yep. There was a wedding to deal with which is always, uh, well it's fun but it's stressful I'm told. And a lot of attention around that. There's been a few controversies from time to time, a couple of things that maybe she's done that hasn't gone down terribly well you are my tennis queen <laughs> lovely but you know in a way uh, the pressure can intensify upon the home lady and uh, the Australian can use the crowd as well you know the enthusiasm they generate she can build herself up to use that well we've had very warm weather in Delhi all week but uh, the players I suppose are getting quite used to it now as we come to the final two days of play in this inaugural tennis tournament at the Commonwealth Games, the only sport making its debut here in 2010. A fan for a fan. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The last thing in today's program on such a call will be the medal ceremony for women's singles and men's doubles. So the announcement for the two contestants in the final of the women's singles in the Commonwealth Games of 2010. And Sania Mirza will serve first to Anastasia Rodionova. wonder if uh, the support for Mirza will really start to grate on the Aussie. Oh! Rodionova is known on tour as having uh, quite a short fuse, let's put it like that. Feisty character. Actually born in the Soviet Union in Tambov, Rodionova. They took up Australian citizenship last year. Could you sit down, please, at the back of the court? Never really get a lot of strategy from uh, Sanya Mirza. It's kind of see it and hit it. But uh, what you're going to get in this match, you're going to get a great forehand strike from Mirza up against the great backhand of Rodianova. That's going to be a great point to the Australian in the very first game of the match. Indian doctor ordered, but Mears has started Thursday. very slowly in her uh, semi-final match against Rigovsky of Australia, so no need to panic just yet. No, the difference of this match is uh, Anastasia Rodinova is ranked 62 in the world, she's been a top 100 player for five years now, she's much more experienced than young Olivia Rogovska. 28 years of age now is uh, Rodinova playing the best tennis of her career, so if she gets ahead well, she got ahead against uh, Sally Pierce and it all went uh, pear shaped, but less likely to let Mirza off the hook than Rogovska. they've come to see and appreciate. Fifty. 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 Fifty.
10 from Mizzou. Gives her an immediate break point back. Just get the sense that it's going to be easier to break in this match than it is to hold. Sam Smith. <laughs> should mention actually they have played just once before, six years ago in Poitiers in France in a, a challenger event, a small event, where they were both ranked around 200 the world. For what it's worth, Sandy Mizer won that match 7-6-6-2. I'm not sure it has a great deal of uh, bearing on proceedings out here, but uh, thought it was worth a mention. We're going to get quite a few double faults by the look of it. Just in, but just as good enough. It's a great backhand. She can hit it off her outside foot. She can step up to it. Point one on serve, just a bit. Well, I watched her practicing uh, just over an hour ago, and she was practicing an awful lot of returns. So, already and over, looking to step into this uh, Mirza delivery. Maybe she, she needed to hit a few more. 30 40. The, uh, the plan was really that she was going to be very aggressive uh, off return. two other occasions but in doubles finals. Mirza was playing with Liesl Huber in Bangalore and with Vania King in Morocco against Rodionova when she was partnered by Elena Vesnina and Andrea Vance. And Mirza won both of those. So she does have very happy memories of uh, matches against Rodionova. But uh, after eight minutes we've yet to see either lady hold serve. Wearing her favourite colour today. And, and I'm sure her, family uh, support is here. And her favourite earrings as well. <laughs> yeah, they're worth a bob, a rupee or two, I'm told. Settled now in uh, Dubai. It's on the, uh, the Palm in uh, John Jamira Beach. A nice place indeed to uh, set up home with uh, Shoaib Malik. Neighbours will include Ernie Ells. Place there.
Well, I have a feeling the pandemonium's already begun. Pre-pandemonium's out the way. That's, that's gone and been and gone. History. Yeah, I suppose that was the most predictable call of the day from the umpire, and that was a superb forehand from Mirza. to be. The match continues to run its predictable course with uh, everybody who receives winning the match, winning the game. Merza's turn to try and defend. Well, Rodian over for me, certainly the steadier of the two. She's come out here aggressively, but she doesn't play the high-risk tennis that uh, Mirza does. And I just wonder, today, since this afternoon now, isn't it? It's just gone quarter past five in New Delhi. If any mistakes that Mirza makes it just might cost her out here. Very loose points on shots that really weren't on at all. Great point again.
and that is the fifth consecutive service break. John, you mentioned that she was uh, from Tambov in uh, Russia, which happens to be in the absolute middle of nowhere. It's in central Russia. It's about 500 uh, kilometers southeast uh, of Moscow. So very tough to become a tennis player from there. But uh, from those origins, she was a very good Russian junior in her day, but didn't transfer onto the tour very well and didn't get a lot of help. And she's really had to you know, find her own route into the Pro Tour. She went to Germany for three years to try and practice there. But um, fortuitously, about six years ago now, she was out nightclubbing in Melbourne one night and she met the DJ, a chap called Lorna Padman, who's a very famous DJ in that part of the world. And they got on very well. And he became her boyfriend and she started practicing in Melbourne and based herself there. Didn't get any help, just uh, got a few, you know, was able to use the practice facilities at uh, Melbourne Park where they play the Australian Open. And then at the end of last year, got an Australian citizenship and now is helped by Tennis Australia. Some story, isn't it's it? It's a lovely story. It's a place to go to a nightclub every now and again. in over. I was chatting to her coach and Nicole Pratt who's the team captain here said she wants three goals out of this Commonwealth Games and she's still on track. Very very motivated. Loves the uh, team environment. All the Australian team I've been hearing are quite tired. It's been a, a long trip for them but uh, no one so far has uh, had any illnesses uh, apart from Paul Hanley the doubles player. Over is the first of the two players to hold serve. It's at the start of today. Australia had a tally of 98 medals in the Commonwealth Games, very much leading the medals table, ahead of India in second place and England in third. India came into the tennis here very hopeful of winning gold medals. And this lady and Devon in the men's singles have their chances. doesn't need to make those kind of errors, not with uh, Mirza playing such sort of wild and unruly tennis out here. Mirza is challenging the call on the right service line. The ball was called a ball. Well, on Sandy Cup, we do have Hawkeye. And for the first time here, we have a challenge. Mirza needs all the assistance she can get right now. Well 
15.30. And it's very ragged at the moment. It is in real trouble here. 4 2 down, and another break point for the Australian. She's almost trying a little bit too hard. That is possible to do. Again, a very low percentage of first serves in, and that's uh, the crux of her problems. Yeah, there's not many good serving performance. 32% in, that's uh, a shocker in uh, four service games. Shearer. Yeah, the official Commonwealth Games mascot. They were saying they've not seen him in many places. Well, uh, he's here at the tennis OK today at the RK Canna Complex. It's got to be warm under that, surely. He must be sweating buckets. Just too many errors. She's playing a different sort of opponent, a real quality opponent in uh, Anastasia Rodionova, who's moved up from uh, just inside the top 100 this year to number 62 in the world. It's her best year on tour. I think it has a lot to do with the fact she's getting some financial assistance and support for the very first time in her career. Has beaten the likes of Vera Zvonareva and Alona Bondarenko, so she has pedigree. It's a very good pick up there and spots the defence here, the non-existent defence of Mears, a great transition. Every Australian error will be cheered. Traditionally, in the sporting way of things, but you can't really blame the Indian fans. They still want to see a gold medal here. been particularly adventurous yet we haven't seen uh, many dashes to the net don't hold your breath John <laughs> just gonna see some big booming ground shots from me it's just when she gets her eye in It's 
an outstanding forehand. One I think her idol will be proud of, Steffi Graf. One of 22 slams, had a great forehand too. Mears are modelling herself on Steffi. Five down with a break point to the Indian. Nerva is furious with herself. He stalks away. And after been, 25 minutes of play, it's 5-3. It's been some set, hasn't it? Eight games played with seven breaks. Consistent. <laughs> or inconsistent, whichever way you look at it. Crowd desperately wants Mirza to hold serve. Well, I have the bunting at the ready. Should she hold? Anastasia really meant exactly what she was going to do. She was going to attack. Oh, when someone's so aggressive off your second serve, it does get into your head. It causes some doubt. The serve. Mirza produces technically has all sorts of glitches in it problems with the elbow problems with the throwing action off balance uh, when she delivers the serve wow well, sure who she's talking to here herself would be a possible suggestion Australian Rodian over after 28 minutes is 5 3 and 40 30. the perfect way for the Australian to finish the set without punishing backhand down the line much too strong for Mirza and she's been too strong throughout the set well this is what she came here for for gold she could have played the China Open this week in Beijing which is a very big women's tournament she would have been in the main draw of that a lot of points at stake but uh, she wanted desperately to uh, represent Australia having just got the passport at the end of last year it means an awful lot to her well the gold medal looks pretty good on a CV anytime she's had a victory at Wimbledon as well in the mix with Andy Ram there seven years ago and uh, Anastasia Rodionova is on the move here towards a gold medal but there's still work to be done well, somewhat of a horror show there on serve, uh, already in over 57%, you'd expect her to be around that sort of level 60%. It's not an overwhelming serve, it's a solid serve. Mirza just goes for so much on her first serve because there's nothing on the second and a, a host of double faults. That's fairly standard stats for Mirza, but we'll need to improve that if uh, she is uh, 
going to get uh, on the offensive, but uh, only able to generate winners off the forehand, which is you'd expect, but uh, she serves a little better. It'll set up the forehand and she can get front foot in this second set. But paramount in her thinking must be to cut out the errors, but there's far too many errors in that game. Great to see the stands uh, fairly full here at this uh, RK Khanna Stadium. I was reading today in our Hindustan uh, Times, which is sort of the English sort of local newspaper. It was a really sad story. This uh, father had come to see his son swim in the Paralympic swimming and uh, he travelled an, an awful long way, five or six hours, that he'd never been to Delhi before. When he got here, he went to try and get a ticket at all the different ticket places, and he ran around for about five hours trying to get a ticket, and they were all closed, and the electronics were not working, and um, then he tried to get hold of his son in the stadium to get, you know, help him get a ticket, and he couldn't get a ticket, and he'd never seen his son Ladies compete and before, oh, no. and then he had to go all the way home again. Oh, no, how that, oh, sad is that? I think that's such a sad story, but no such problems at the tennis. The tickets have been uh, readily available, and they've been really snapped up. Oh, that's an awful story, isn't it? What a letdown. Uh, quite, I was upset, quite upset me at breakfast yeah, when I was... Yeah, sure. Uh, turning over the hindu to stand times i was hearing of a great put down last night the golfer harry varden was once refused entry to a locker room at a golf club but he said don't worry i'll get changed in my rolls royce <laughs> <laughs> one time i was here in india one of the great stories as well was about a three and a half year old marathon runner i didn't really believe it until i saw him interviewed on television he was three and a half years of age and running a marathon here in delhi he's now about eight so that's five years ago it's a, it is an incredible country. You do hear some remarkable only, stories only in this country. Only in India. Only in India, correct. Right, on with the battle. But India expects of Sani Mirza here, number two seed. The 23-year-old is a set down. When will she click in to gear? You never know when it's going to happen. That's why rolling over, if she wants that gold, and she desperately wants that gold, has to keep her intensity, has to keep her unforced errors down. Because if Mirza gets on her A game, we have a different match here. Three consecutive points for the Australian.
you used a phrase earlier about Miz getting her eye in. Does it sometimes take players longer than others to get their eye in at the start of a match? Well, when you play such high-risk tennis uh, and you've played such little competitive tennis as Mirza has this year, I think she's missed four or five months of competitive tennis. It's uh, been, t been tougher and she just it's all about her timing. Certainly not been there yet. I would say she did lose that first set to Rogowska in the semi as well. Had two very easy matches to begin with. Sometimes doesn't help. As a bit of recent form has uh, Mirza qualified and made the third round of the US Open, but that's the only real form she's had all year. She even had to go back and play a $25,000 event, which is a very small event in Wrexham um, back in the UK, which is uh, not where she's really used to playing her tennis. Made the final there. win a service game after 37 minutes. Well, it's an awful stat, but in uh, every single one of her service games, bar one, she's thrown in a double fall. That means she's giving away at least one point every service game. It's tough to hold. Yet again, Rodinova has a break point. For a two love lead in the second set. Now the shiny lift her. She's got a lift the crowd as well. advantage on her own serve. And for the first time really the match comes alive from an Indian perspective. Such a well-produced forehand. One game. We give her a real lift. Maybe that was the moment when the, the A game clicked in. A long, hard stare from Rodionova. Who's uh, wondering whether to question it or not? Well, she asked uh, the Aussie camp whether she should challenge or not. So they've got a better of a view of it down the other end than she has. Thank you. 
Even Mazer looked puzzled that it was called, uh, it was in at the far end of the court from her, but it seemed to put her off, if anything. supposed to do this there is a mark there she was going to challenge it would be very late it's such a great area in tennis that's uh, developed with this uh, new Hawkeye technology yeah some players uh, have been using it for the first time in their lives here in India Hawkeye they learn how to use it properly down onto the ground we didn't quite see this but uh, when she lost the point she was furious with herself still a break point to come here in the Canna complex now and the majority of people are cheering it's still a long way for music to go to win the gold though she leaves 2-1 in the second set well there's no doubt in my mind that Sunny Mirza absolutely has meant business uh, at this Commonwealth game she said a couple of years ago that uh, she didn't really want to play in India anymore because when she won her first title back in uh, 2006 in Hyderabad uh, it was just crazy scenes you know she needed bodyguards to move about and it was all it was all just a bit too much but to come back here and play means that she was coming back to win otherwise she wasn't going to play at all there is some Australian support here there's, there's the camp and uh, just, uh, just about to open an energy bar is Nicole Pratt, who's in charge of the uh, the women here, the Aussie women. She's a former top 50 singles and doubles player, affectionately known as Pratty, on the tour, made a very good career, very hard working. And she's been coaching Roddy and over one to one since uh, May this year. Big motivator is uh, Pratty. Oh, we have a new scenario here now. Mirza in the lead. She's led at any stage of the match. She has the game to beat Rolianova. She's got a bigger game. It's can, it's can she execute? Can she put enough balls in court, hit enough winners?
Nets. First service. of the match but it goes the Australians way keeps her alive in this set at a good response from Roddy Nova who's she's got quite an aggressive game but not as aggressive as Mirza but just sensing that she's got to take it on a little more because the Mirza first strike has been so good Next. certainly in the last sort of 10 minutes or so it's really picked up Challenge the ball was out, and yet again, Sunny Mirza is in trouble on her own serve. Another break point for the Australian to get it back to 2 2. first serves in on that particular game. And Mirza leads 3-1. Well, in the context of this match, huge game and just signs that we're in over, just getting anxious. I was already, I think, thinking about the gold medal, the winning post, when she took the first set. She had great momentum going to the second set. It's swung totally the other way now with Mirza pinching that game.
deep breaths required. She knows she hasn't got many allies in the crowd. Over holds to love. There's a lead by three games to two. This is going to be a real test of Mirza's nerve now to try and hold serve and to retain that advantage. Yes, uh, we've seen some flashes of her best tennis, but uh, difficult for her. I've told you about the year that she's had with the injuries and you know trying to regroup from her ranking dropping to outside the top 100. She'll probably finish the year outside the top 100 and also the pressure on her here in India. I mean, she's such a superstar. Last year, she was the most searched uh, Indian sports person on the internet. I mean, that's incredible, even more than Sachin Tendulkar. And I was chatting to my friends a, a few days ago at All India Radio, and I was saying to her, how famous is she? And they said to me, Sam, they said, if she was at a railway station, she arrived on the platform, within seconds, she would be absolutely mobbed. There would be pandemonium, the, shape, the station would be shut. But if Leander Pays and Marsh Bupati turn up at the same railway station, quite a few people would know them, but there wouldn't be the same reaction. She creates the same hysteria as the great cricketers in this country, the Tendulkars, the VVS Laxman. That's where she sits in terms of her stardom here in India. So yeah, I remember when she opened a boutique a couple of years ago and literally a yep. whole city came to a standstill. Yep. So many coaches uh, over the years has uh, Mirza, initially her father Imran, who was a good amateur cricketer, coached her and then coached by uh, Mahesh Bhupati's dad, Krishna. Just like the Australian little flat footed, yeah? Well, it's good. It's really good. There's just such a fine margin to have her being pretty dreadful to be her outstandingly good. It's just very fine. Shake of the head from Anastasia. What do you do about that? 30, 50. Just to understand and give Mirza some credit. Mirza on her A game, she's almost unplayable when that forehand starts to find its mark. That regular double that Sam Smith was talking yeah. about, one in just about every game. She was also coached by the Aussie Tony Roach for a while and uh, another Aussie, Bob Red at his San Remo Academy. Nobody's been able to sort that serve out. Easy from up here again. Oof. 
ball was good for the Australian and Rodian over here has a great point and a massive moment in the match this well I talked about the great back can they going the great forehand that's the battle we've got now She's facing 5,000 opponents today, does Roddy Nova. Back to Deuce. It's very fun watching this, sir. Uh... In her thought processes, I mean, she's very instinctive to see it and hit it. It's like, what is the most low percentage shot I can hit? Yep, that's the one I'm going to hit. Possible, she says. Well, I, can, uh, I can lip read that, whether it's in Russian or Australian or English. And she stretched her arms out wide and said it's impossible. What is? Did she mishit it or overhit it? Was unstoppable, but is music. A lot of pressure right now on Anastasia Rodinova to come a little out of her comfort zone and take the game more to Mears and then she, she, she might feel comfortable with. when Sonia Munoz really, really cranks it up that uh, Rodney and I were struggling to deal with the pace. The ball bounced very high on this court, in, on this uh, court here, not on the occasion. Squeals 
and screams of delight. Point for five two. So far as they're concerned, she moves smoothly into a 5-2 lead in the second set. We're talking about the billions supporting Mirza here, but in a funny way, of course, Rodionova, she's got the whole of Russia and the whole of Australia supporting her as well. I just wonder about this dual nationality, Sam, and just how they feel, how Australian she feels having taken citizenship only a year ago. Well, I think she's a very proud Aussie, to be honest with you. Um, she's got an Australian uh, passport now. She represents them in the Fed Cup, which is the women's equivalent of the Davis Cup. She's one of their best players. Right, uh, 62 in the world. This is the uh, second highest ranked Aussie at the moment, behind uh, top five player Sam Stozer. Very different set this though, isn't it? Right, a wonderful atmosphere here now. Two huge eagles have just flown across centre courts. Absolutely massive birds, symbols of India. And here is the lady symbol of tennis. New balls. serving with these new balls, they're very light, it's the US Open ball they're using, they fly, they bounce high, and the new ones are, are really greasy. And there's one that just took off, you've really got to have your racket strung as tight as you can cope with, as tight as the frame will bear. With these balls, a lot of the players have been sending rackets back to be strung during matches. A lot of players have been fiddling back with the tension to get that vital ball control. Set points for Sanya Mirza. Not quite out the centre that uh, string, but I can, I can, I can break a string there. No problem at all. They've been out on court for an hour and six minutes. Those are the next few seconds that count for the Indian crowd.
to play for in the deciding third set. Six three, two six, and two sets of very differing quality. But Mesa really raised her game there. It's all about Sanya Mirza. Just took her a little bit of time to uh, find her rhythm, her timing, her range. When she gets it, she's almost unplayable at this level. That's why she's back in India. A couple of interesting things in that set, eight games played. There were four games that went to Juice. Guess who won all four games? Mirza. Mirza. So she won the key points. Better for serve percentage, that set up the forehand. It just took her time. She's not played too many matches this year, not under this kind of scrutiny. Still finding her way back uh, to her best level. It's only a few years ago when she was a top 30 player, heading for the top 20 before she got injured. So a nasty wrist injury this year as well. It'll take a long time to clear up. But, uh, Great momentum now, hasn't she? Well, it took her a long time to find any sort of rhythm at all today, and I'm sure part of that was the pressure of performing in front of such an expectant home crowd. Not that the expectancy levels have dropped. Question mark. Has she got the fitness to see this through? What do you know about the train to the minute here? Here's it. Not in the best shape at the moment. 28 years of age, Rodianova. She had hip surgery two years ago. And we start again. She's biting her lip. Of that second set, Rodinova really didn't make the backhand. Her marquee shot counts for full effect. That really is an unforced error. She mustn't let the shoulders droop in this hostile atmosphere. such a good job in the first set of keeping the lid on this crowd made very few unforced errors got the mix absolutely right
Roberts, Radianova has the cares of the world on her shoulders, whereas Mirza is jaunty. And that's why she's jaunty, she leads by a long game to love in the third decisive set. Radianova really has to compose herself here. It's, uh, it's tough in this din, isn't it? It's coming from all sides. And Mirza now ahead for the first time in the match. That changes the pressure. Thank you. Unforgiving grip that Rodianova has on return of serve. Very extreme. You could uh, make a decent omelette with that grip. You really could. Aussie right now. Winners just flowing off the Mirza racket. Well, the cheers escalate as high as the ball. It's just become so obvious that pace to pace from the back of the court, running over, just can't live with this power game. Well, that's good enough for a two, lovely. And Rodianova goes walkabout. And she's standing looking straight at the curtaining at the far end of the court. You can only imagine what goes through her mind. Well, the answers uh, <clears throat> are not in that uh, backboard or bannering or whatever it is. The answer is to take this match on. Be more aggressive. Mirzi may be just a touch over aggressive with that return. She doesn't she doesn't believe you wouldn't, wouldn't understand what you were talking about, John. You people do. That's a word that Sanya Mears is so not interested in. She's going to play her way. It's her way or the highway. Next. Person. 